Hello, I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Simon Burns from CBC Old Collegians Football Club in Division 5, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So I'll just go through the results from the weekend. Greenacres had a close win over Glenunga by one point. Lockleys defeated Hectorville by 19 points. Poultney defeated Rosewater by 25 points. Uh, Smithfield got over Elizabeth by a massive 118 points. And unfortunately, CBC went down to Blackfriars by 34 points. Obviously, a bit of a disappointing result there. It was, Todd. It was, yes. It was a close game for three quarters of footy, but um, couldn't get the, the chocolates in the end. Blackfriars, too good. Yeah. How did you see the game play out on the day? Well, it was a really tight game. Um, we, uh, it was a low-scoring affair. It was played at Blackfriars, so it's a small ground. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty compressed, and there was a lot of stoppages. Uh, I, I think it was a, a, a five to, to seven goal game, I think, at three quarter time. A lot of points, a lot of rush behinds. Um, but uh, Blackfriars managed to kick uh, uh, a few uh, running goals in that last quarter and got away from us. Yeah, who were some of your better performers on the day? Obviously, in a loss, it, it's sometimes hard to find better performers, but there must have been some positive signs on the day. Uh, there, there were, and we did have some good players on the day. It was a pretty competitive affair, um, as I say, for a lot of the game. Um, our fullback Tyson Williams saw a fair bit of action, and yep. uh, and he played well. Um, Sam Madigan keeps going well, the young guy through the middle. Um, I thought Josh Builder, a new player to the footy club this year, uh, worked really really hard uh, up forward and uh, through the centre of the ground. So that we had some real good, really good contributors on the day, but uh, just not enough for long enough. Okay, we'll move on to next week's games. If I can just get a tip from you on each game. Let's get that to this. So Hectorville take on Glenunga out at Hectorville. Right. Well, I did say that picking winners in this competition is hard work. It's harder than the AFL, I reckon. Um, look, I that's at Hectorville, is it? Yeah. I I think I'd go for Hectorville on that one. Okay. Greenacres take on Blackfriars Old Scholes. I'm assuming that would be out at Greenacres. Yes, it is. And <laughs> Greenacres in a 21-goal game against Glamunga to win by a point. Um, they're in goal-kicking form, I'd say. Oh, I reckon maybe Greenacres there. Okay. Lockley take on Poultney at Lockley's Oval. Well, Lockley's have been playing really well. Yep. So um, they've got a, a small sort of side and they run really well. Um, and I reckon they'll be... Or well, they have been really hard to beat at home. So I think um, Poultney are not that bad. Obviously, they had their first win yesterday. Um, but I think Lockley's will win that one. And Smithfield take on Rosewater out at Smithfield Oval. Yeah, another tough game. I think both those teams have been playing well, um, but I think Smithfield at home, you'd think that they win that one. OK, and we'll move to your game now. You're back home against Elizabeth. How do you think CBC Old Collegians will fare? Hopefully get a win? Well, <laughs> well I think we've got to get a win. Yeah. Uh, I think we're really behind the eight ball now in terms of trying to make the finals. It hasn't been a great first half of the season so we really need to start um, playing some better footy and, and that's got to start at home um, next week against Elizabeth. So, What do you think some of the things you need to work on from the weekend for this week's game? Well, look I think um, because of our issues around the Clipsal 500 um, we, we don't have access to our ground for most of the first round so we, we end up with a lot more home games in, in the run home um, so I think that's a positive uh, for us and obviously we'll be looking forward to getting back home this week. Um, and, and we've probably had some injuries to key players in the first half of the year and they're starting to come back. Our, our centre half forward played his first game on the weekend for a while um, after a bit of an injury uh, layoff. So we're starting to see some players filter back. So hopefully we can stay uh, injury free for a few weeks and get some continuity onto the field. But I, I guess every team's in the same boat. Okay, thank you, Simon. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. I've been joined by Simon Burns from the CBC Old Collegians Football Club in Division 5, and he's done our weekly roundup.